Hey guys, it's C. Fowler here. Valkyra just released on March 2nd, 2015. A firmware update for the QRX350 Pro. It's 1.7 now. I know some of the newer ones are being shipped 1.6. I've been using 1.5. Um, the word is though, this one has better GPS and better RTL. So this is a guide to show you how to install it. I have a lot of other videos on my channel on how to switch out to the Trainus and you know, if you like what you see here, like it, subscribe, and the walk here website's down, so there's other routes, and I'll show you how to do that. This is the website we're going to use while well, walk here is updating theirs or whatever they're doing to it. Um, it's in German. We're going to scroll down right here to QR X350 Pro firmware 1.7. Just click on it. Save file, okay. It's gonna save it to the desktop. Pretty small file, download already. It's a zip file, double click on it. Extract all. Extract. And that's just the files extracted. Go back to your desktop, this is zip, unzip. Now you need to plug your quadcopter into your computer. Once you do that, it should automatically connect. If it doesn't, what you need to do is go to your uh, device manager. I'm using Windows 8.1 and Pro. Um, it's, under, it's under ports, yeah. should have an exclamation mark or something like that. You want to keep an eye on the COM port. <clears throat> if it's not connected, if you don't have the driver for it, just right click on it. You go to properties, driver, update driver. Browse my computer and uh, you know the desktop. Yeah, okay. And next, mine's installed. I'm not going to reinstall them again. That should take care of that problem. Pay attention to COM port there. Mine's COM port 4. Get to the extracted files. Serial Angel. Right click on it. Run as a min. <clears throat> okay. I got 1.5 still. I found COM port 4. You click right here. X350 17 is the file we're going to be using. Open. And then you click upgrade. Okay, it took mine uh, 3 minutes 41 seconds. Upgrade firmware successful. Click on leave. Click on quit. And open it again. Upgrade to 1.7 firmware. Okay, at this point, you want to unplug it from the uh, computer. And plug it back in. And you can open Mission Planner. Make sure this is the correct COM port and it's 57600. Hit connect. And after you get connected, you're going to, uh, once again, don't ever use the wizard, into hardware. You can do accelerometer calibration, compass calibration, radio calibration. All these are important. After you do the 1.7 update, I'm just going to show you what mine does. I can't take it outside due to the weather. I will be posting videos soon, though. Um, as soon as the left light stops blinking, the GPS signal is required like almost instantly now. Also, you can control it in RTL. Um, one thing that's a little different scared me when I first saw it was when you go back down to the zero throttle, the motor still spin for a second. Get off the table, you mother. I'll show you so you can see what I'm talking about.
didn't get GPS, but that's because of inside. It's usually on by now. Anyway, I don't like the motors. Roll down. See, they do run for just a little, a little bit longer. Well, thanks for watching my video. Now, I'll upgrade the Walkira QRX. 350 Pro to the newest 1.7 firmware. Uh, please subscribe, like my videos, or if you have any questions, comment below. Like I said, I'll keep the description updated. So check it out.